Okay, we have eight views of the lake here. It's part of the Mood and Media, or they are the Mood and Media series of videos at this moment. And uh, they are completely finished as far as their color applications and stamping and um, additional effects with the gel pen and uh, white pigment ink. And what I have here is uh, a UV resistant clear Krylon. Okay, let me see if I can get that focused. I don't know if that's focusing in on here, but uh, anyway, um, we're going to spray seal these and uh, hopefully it should bring out some additional vibrancy and saturation of the inks uh, after they're sprayed. Sometimes some inks can dry kind of dull. Okay, so it's a little breezy out here right now. It's not the ideal time to spray, but this does go pretty quickly, so um, uh, I think I can do it without all these blowing away. Now, the areas where I have used um, quite a bit of the white pigment ink um, to create some additional lighting and uh, kind of some more of that kind of uh, foggy, kind of uh, misty glow on the scenes. I want to avoid going over those areas too thick um, immediately, so I want to give it a, a short spray first, okay? And I'm probably spraying from about maybe a foot and a half away, and I'll just give it short bursts like this. So not much should be applied right now, okay? And I'm going to let that set up and dry. It just takes a couple seconds before uh, I can go again. And what this short spray is going to do is it's going to seal um, those white pigment ink and gel pen um, touches so that they won't go back into solution and either disappear or just kind of spread out so much that you know you can't see the uh, those effects very much. It's kind of like um, spraying, if you've ever sprayed uh, chalks or pastels or something like that, the lighter um, touches over the top of uh, dark tend to disappear if you hit it too thickly. Okay, let's go again. Always spray outside so you don't get all fumes uh, in your uh, environment living space. Okay, now that should be set up pretty good. Let me see if I can zoom in on a couple of these so you can see uh, kind of a little bit of a stronger saturation um, taking place. Let me move these over a little bit here. And let's try this uh, kind of sunset one. Okay. Got a little bit of a glare on it from the light out here, but let's see if I can get it pretty thick. Can you see that nice vibrancy uh, change there? I hope you, that uh, the video caught up a little bit. All right, see that nice thick and saturated glow there. I, I don't know if it's thick, but it's it seems um, maybe a deep and saturated glow. Okay, this is my blue one right here. I think this could stand a few touches of uh, spray, especially on the outside edges. So it kind of gets darker and uh, kind of regains the, uh, the look of a freshly stamped scene, freshly stamped uh, color uh, applicated scene, I should say. The uh, darker ones really uh, benefit from this quite a lot because uh, these are the ones that have the, uh, the strongest ink saturations on them. Okay. And see that pigment ink is uh, intact. It's just fine because we sealed it off uh, before going with the, uh, the thicker application of a uh, um, coverage of a uh, your spray sealant. Some people just use um, hairspray, you know, if they're not worried about things like, uh, I don't know, the archival type of uh, aspect of uh, things like art sprays. 
And uh, I don't know, I don't have any problem with uh, using hairspray if I didn't have uh, some Krylon or something like that. Oops. Some people ask me about this handle right here. This is, uh, I don't know, just a spray handle. I think it's much easier to uh, to manipulate something like this than uh, you know just using your finger on the spray. I don't know, I get spray all over my finger when I use those uh, just straight. I don't always have a handle sometimes. After a while, they break or something like that. But if I remember to, I always kind of pick one up to uh, utilize. Okay, now this one is very light, but it does have quite a bit of a pigment ink on it to uh, create some of that kind of foggier look. Just kind of put this one kind of in the edges. Just saturate the edges a little bit more. We got the wind and airplanes flying overhead. Okay. Getting this one in the corners. The lighter ones you can't tell too much when you hit it because it never really dulls out too much but all right so there we have it some nice uh, compositions I tend to think that they have kind of a they take on kind of a jeweled look not only with the color applications but when you hit it with something like this and I just think it can kind of completes the uh, the overall Kind of appearance or scene I, you can almost see it as a kind of like another medium that you're applying to your finished works and, and that it does um, affect kind of the uh, the final result quite a bit at times especially depending on what paper and ink combinations you're using um, some ink and paper combinations can uh, dry with a really dull um, kind of appearance but I always say that these sprays are the great equalizer um, between all of those different combinations you can run into out there. And uh, even if it doesn't dull out very much, or at all, um, spraying your scenes can uh, really saturate your colors even more than uh, what they look like when they were freshly stamped. So anyways, uh, Krylon. Uh, UV resistant clear, there's Krylon crystal clear, there's different polyurethane sprays that go on much thicker. You have to kind of wait for those ones to dry, like overnight at least, um, down to something like even a hairspray. Spray fixatives work too, um, workable fixatives, but uh, some of them are glossy and some of them are matte uh, in finish, and it just depends on what kind of look you're going after. But they all work very well.